Welcome to part two on how to code a live streaming server. If you haven't seen part one, then this probably won't make a lot of sense. So make sure you go and watch part one. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, so in part one, we created a server that could take a stream from OBS uh, and deliver that stream over RTMP. And we secured that stream by requiring the user put in the right stream key in OBS. In part two, we will be converting that RTMP stream into HLS so that you can watch the stream on a website or on a phone natively. With that said, if you have any trouble throughout this video, uh, make sure to stop by on the Discord and either me or someone else can help you out. And of course, all the code will be available on GitHub, link in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna show you exactly what you can expect to see at the end of this tutorial. So let's get our code started and we'll do that like in our last video using Docker Compose Up. All right, now that the code is started, we now also have a website so we can watch our live stream. And that website is on localhost 8080. Okay, so here's our live stream. So I'm currently not streaming. So once I start streaming, the live stream should show up on our website. So I'll just hit start streaming. Okay, now the RTMP stream is going to Nginx and then Nginx is converting that to HLS. Uh, and then when it converts to HLS, it's stored in many different clips uh, and is played as a live playlist on our website. Okay, I just pulled it up. So you can actually see the clips that were converted from RTMP in the data folder of live stream part two. So here's the HLS playlist, test M through UE. And then as the stream is going, there are multiple clips being made here. And so now if we refresh the live stream here, you can see it um, and there it is. And you can, you can seek through the video, go to the beginning. Um, so right now the live stream is capped, I believe, to you can go back around 15 minutes, but you can change that um, and we'll go into more details later in the video. All right, so we're gonna go over what exactly has changed since part one, and we're gonna start with the Nginx configuration. So here is where we're gonna tell the, uh, the module to convert our RTMP stream to HLS. And how do we do this? So first, uh, remember that, uh, GitHub page for this Docker image. If we go down to here and the documentation, there's documentation on how to convert to HLS. So it's as simple as just adding these on uh, and then you'll start converting your stream to HLS. So let's see how that's done. So here, uh, this is just a regular old Nginx configuration. And so first we turn HLS on. So now it is uh, converting the RTMP stream, but where do these video clips go? Uh, we tell it the path. So we want to store it on slash temp slash HLS on the image. We want each fragment to be 10 seconds. Uh, it's going to take 10 seconds of live video and then convert it. And we want the playlist length to be five minutes long. So what this means exactly is there are only a certain number of fragments we can create. And so I set the limit to five minutes so I don't fill my computer with all this live video. So after five minutes of fragments, so about 60 fragments given each one is, or 30 fragments given each one is um, uh, 10 seconds, um, uh, it'll start deleting the older fragments. So what this translates to is in the live stream, uh, you can only look back up to five minutes. Um, and you can change this to whatever you want. It could be an hour if you want, or like what YouTube does, you can make it so it goes back 12 hours. All right, so next we're gonna go over creating our web server. So we need this web server so we can host a website uh, that will show our stream. And it's a website that can serve the uh, video files that we're generating uh, right here. So first we'll create an HTTP server, and this will run alongside our RTMP server on the same uh, Nginx container. It'll be on port 8080. So to go to our website, we'll go to localhost 8080. 
So this is what, what's going to happen when you go to the root of the site. So just localhost 8080 slash. What's going to happen is it's going to look in this folder slash dub dub dub. This is where we're going to put our index.html file later on so that you'll see our homepage. And then we're going to define what's going to happen if you go to the slash HLS endpoint. So here we're going to serve two different kinds of files. First is our HLS playlist file, which is M3U8. What this types directive does is it tells you what type to assign to this file extension. So when we're serving this file extension, it'll give it this type. And when we serve this file extension, it'll give this type. So when you go to slash HLS, it'll look inside the slash temp folder. And we're going to add the header no cache. So the browser does not cache our live stream. What this header basically does is tell the browser any website can receive these video files. And if this wasn't here, then none of the video files would work and your browser would reject all the requests. Okay, next we're going to go over our Docker compose file. So here's what's changed. So remember in the Nginx file, uh, Nginx configuration file, we added a HTTP server and it listened on port 8080. So we're going to have to expose that port from the Docker container to our computer. So on this RTMP service, we add port 8080 uh, from our computer and we map it to the port 8080 in the Docker image. Now, another piece is the uh, HLS videos will be stored on slash temp slash HLS within the Docker container. And I want to take a look inside there or be able to see what videos are there for debugging purposes. So I added volumes and then we mapped this data folder um, within the project to slash temp slash HLS within the Docker container. You don't need this to uh, uh, have the video file stored there. Um, but this is just helpful so you can take a look at all the different video files that are made and you can debug. All right, so that wraps it up for part two. I think for the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to take our what we've got so far and host it on an actual server so it's behind like a website. Um, so it's not just running on your local machine. If you have more video ideas, feel free to suggest them in Discord. Um, there's been a ton of ideas added so far, and I can't wait to make them into actual videos. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.